Cars, of course, an essential part of today's society. But what happens if yours catches on fire? News 9's Sabrina Lee explains how some area firefighters are prepared for just that. I'm here in Stevens Point where the fire department is going through car fire training this week. How they're learning to fight the heat in the heat. Vehicle fires are no joke, and the Stevens Point Fire Department is making sure they're prepared. Training for everything that we could possibly see, though, that we can be ready to go when that call does come. That involves training no matter the weather, even intense heat. Actually, uh, when you take into account the weather, you have to know uh, what you can handle uh, when you need to call in for additional resources. Um, and it's also very important to just know what you're dealing with. And with cars constantly becoming more and more advanced, that training is more important than ever. Um, with the types of cars that we're dealing with these days, from EV to compressed gas to everything running um, diesel and everything else underneath the sun, um, we kind of got to be prepared to know how to fight these um, so that we can do it safely. Wednesday's training involved multiple different scenarios, from fully engulfed minivans to trunk fires and sedans, even starting a fire under a hood. Training for everything. I mean, we get calls for um, overheated brakes, mechanical issues from underneath the hood, um, to cars that have started on fire and are fully involved. So training for every aspect, from the smallest to the biggest ones. I mean, of course, we couldn't get a semi-truck out here today or anything. So what should you do if your car catches on fire? Call 911 immediately and let them know important details like if there are any structures nearby. The number one thing to remember, get everyone out and a safe distance away and leave the firefighting to the professionals. In Stevens Point, I'm Sabrina Lee, News 9, WAOW.